All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how to install the studs. But first, what you have to do is remove your old studs. So all I did was lock these two nuts on from the old uh, nuts. So you just uh, tighten one side and the other side all at the same time. And then you can just pop them off. So I already did this one, but you get the hint. It's not hard. I mean, if you don't, if you're not really sure what I'm talking about, uh, not sure if this is the right job for you to be doing. But uh, I'll get this going. And so you just want to do that for the rest of them. And then to take them off, what I do is I come over here to my vise. You throw it on your vise and then you just pop one of the nuts loose. I'm going to take the stud out. Pop my nut off. Because I use these nuts again because I just like to. And then pop this guy off. Um, if you're not going to be reusing the studs, then don't worry about messing them up with the vise. But if you're going to be reusing your studs for some reason, definitely don't put them in the vise. You're going to need to figure out another way to pop these back off. Alright guys, so I got all the studs out and uh if you guys been on the channel before you guys know how much i like this shit the mopar combustion chamber conditioner and cleaner stuff um stuff works great uh, the only reason it's taped off right now and it's because i uh, i've had this open for a while just in the middle of swapping to a new turbo setup so um i just have just don't want anything going in there and just trying to keep it clean so that's why they're closed off. Uh, I'm gonna clean them up a little bit. Not really gonna show too much on that. But, uh, sorry, there's people out here. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And uh, I'll show you the next process of cleaning and uh, getting ready to retap the threads. All right, guys. So, what you're gonna wanna do is you're just gonna get up in here and spray in there. And then you're gonna wanna get this brush that came with my kit, or you can get one of your own. Just a uh, metal bristle brush. I think it's brass from the looks of it, or steel. And uh, yeah, just want to get up in those threads and really clean them out. Make sure you twist a little bit and you know, pull it all out. Get in there a couple of times with the can and spray it again. Feel that stuff that came out. And you just want to keep going at one for a couple minutes and then go to the next. Yeah, that's pretty much the steps, and I'm gonna do all of them, then I'm gonna show you how to clean the, uh, the face a bit. All right, guys, so you wanna get the the top started, and you wanna be able to just finger tighten it and make sure it's not wiggling too much. And you also don't wanna wiggle it too much, because then you'll, uh, you'll, you'll fuck up the threads. But, uh, so you just wanna go, and I go in a little bit, just so I know it's sturdy, and then I'll, I'll wait till it starts getting a little tough. Right about here, and then I'll come in, I'll go about half a turn, and then I'll go full turn back. You're just cleaning them, you're not retapping it, so you don't really have to do this. But if you really want to get them cleaned on both sides, you'll go in and out. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a timely process, but after a while, it'll be worth it. All right, guys, so you just want to go in there after you recap all the threads and you just want to clean it all out again. Just so that it's nice and clean when you put in the uh, the adhesive, and, or not the adhesive, the uh, antifeeze. And then I also went down and wiped the block a bit. That's why it's so pretty now. Kind of missed a few spots, but it's going to get really dirty anyways. All right, guys, so I got this scotch right pad here. I'm going to spray some of the stuff on here same stuff I was using and I'm just gonna go very lightly and just take off all this old garbage that's on here right now super lightly so this is all black down there I just want to get that out Don't focus too much on one spot. You don't want these to be uneven. And whatever you do, don't put a lot of pressure down. Just 
whatever your finger pressure is, just put a little pressure in, you know, and then just go around. You just want to go lightly and just make sure that there's no any particles on your uh, face so you, it can get a nice clean smooth uh, surface for the uh, flanges and all that all right guys so now i'm just going in with some q-tips and just getting rid of all the stuff that's in there and just making sure it's really clean because there's a there's some fluid in there so it's a little wet so then I just put the other side in Twist it around, wiggle it around on my way out. And then just pulling out that fair bit of blackness. You can't even really tell on camera. But you know, I want I want these to be in there good, spend a lot of money on them, do it right the first time. And so yeah, just follow that through and uh, you can see how uh, clean it all looks. And if you tell by this spot here, I just wasn't able to get that. Um, once again, it's an aluminum block and uh, you're really not supposed to sand on it at all. So I just wanted to scuff it up, get rid of some of the, the stuff that's on there. And that's all. I didn't go too hard on that. All I'm doing right now is putting the uh, red spot, respawn or red spawn, whatever it's called, thread locker on there. Um, it's yeah. probably one of the best. No, that's about good right about there. So you wanted to make sure get about that much on there. And just, whoops, sorry. And then you're just gonna wanna bolt it into place. Try not to get the thread locker onto the uh, surface because you wouldn't want that on the surface. Yeah, so just get those in there, hand snug. Um, since they're threaded, they should be able to go all the way. That one didn't go quite all the way, so but that's fine, I'll, I'll get it. And then I'm gonna get those all in. All right, guys, got the gasket on. Got a little bit more torque down. And now I'm going to throw on my manifold. It's nice and clean now, finally, for once. All right, guys, so there it is. It looks, it looks amazing. Um, obviously, if you have a stock system that you're putting back on, it won't look like this. But if you're turboing it, it might look something similar. But yeah, there you go, guys. It's, it's pretty sturdy. Um, it's got the uh, locking nuts, the Nord locks, or something like that. They're called, um, they're not the best in the world, but they're all right. Right down here, it was a little bit of a weird fit, so I don't know how well that's gonna hold, but it's torqued on and, well, again, I don't really have much option but to wish for the best in that, in that situation. But these are all good, all nice and tight. And uh, yeah, the only thing I have to wait for is the uh, nine studs for my turbo, which sucks because I have no idea where they are, when they're coming, so I'm just stuck. All right guys, so. That's how you install the ARP studs for the Miata or for most likely any other vehicles, not specifically the Miata. You follow the same steps on any other car. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Right. Hope you enjoyed it. Of course. Uh, F Johnny Depp. I feel like he'd appreciate it at this point. And uh, that's a good for Chris Pratt. Just, I don't know, like, my TV, like,